I'm Dr. Leninger. Today I'm going to talk to you about something that I have treated a lot of in my clinic, uh, but you probably wouldn't think that I've treated a lot of it. Uh, and that is something called erectile dysfunction. Now, I've treated many, 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 many cases of erectile dysfunction. Uh, but in Northern Virginia, people don't typically think to go to the chiropractor for erectile dysfunction. They do in other parts of the country and world, but not in this area. So, most of the patients, all of the patients that I treated with erectile dysfunction did not initially come to see me for erectile dysfunction. What initially brought them in the door was back pain. Uh, let me show you how those two are related in a minute, but first I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, how we discovered the erectile dysfunction. So, normally somebody comes in, a man will come in complaining of lower back pain. And I'll do a consultation with them, and during the consultation, we'll take what's called a history, which is how, how long he's had the lower back pain, when it started, how often it's come, come and gone over the years, that type of thing. Uh, so during that time, uh, I'll ask him about uh, so that general area of his body, and I'll ask him if he's, had, if he's experiencing other symptoms. Many, five times out of ten, the men experiencing back pain are also experiencing uh, erectile dysfunction. Uh, so, and, and a lot of times in the history, we'll find out that the time that they started getting back pain coincides with the time they started getting erectile dysfunction. Let me show you why that is. Uh, when you pinch a nerve in the lower back, it, it's down here, okay? So these are the nerves in the lower back. Now they go to the back muscles, okay? So a lot of times if the nerve is pinched here or here, anywhere in the lower back, they can get back pain. Okay, or leg pain, it goes down the leg, numbness, tingling, all those are symptoms of what's called inflammation. Inflammation is like a fire, and anywhere you get inflammation of a nerve, anything that nerve touches, it can spread to. So, basically this whole area gets heated up, it gets inflamed, irritated, and it can cause back pain. Okay, and they know to go to the chiropractor for back pain. But what they don't know is that the nerve also controls the bladder, uh, the, the uh, sexual organs, as well as the intestinal tract. Okay, can you see that? So if I have a problem with a pinched nerve here, not only can I get back pain, but I can also get symptoms like constipation, irritable bowel, uh, diarrhea, or I can get uh, difficulty controlling or holding my urine, or I can get erectile dysfunction, okay? Those are very, very common symptoms with this type of condition. Now, the good news is, as we start calming this area down by adjusting them or using decompression or physical therapy or chiropractic in this area, not only does a pinched nerve resolve the, the as the pinched nerve resolves, it calms down the inflammation, which reduces the symptom of back pain, but it can also reduce the symptom down the road here of erectile dysfunction and improve functioning of that. When you improve the function of the nerve by calming the inflammation, you increase the function of the organ attached to it because now you cleared up the, the communication pathway between the organ through the spinal cord up to the brain and back down. Okay, that's the pathway that that communicates with the brain. So as you calm the inflammation down, you also calm the symptoms down. And some of the symptoms are not just pain. Some of them are organ malfunction, and like the erectile dysfunction. Okay, so when I go to do a re-exam on the guy that came in for back pain but also had erectile dysfunction, down the road, a month or two later, guess what he tells me? Not only is his back pain gone, but his marriage is better. Okay, and that he's very, very happy with. And that's typically a very, a very rewarding experience for me too as a doctor because I didn't only just help him get out of pain, I actually improved his lifestyle and his, and his marriage and everybody's happy then. Uh, so it's, it's very rewarding when I see those, those types of other symptoms clear up. Uh, uh, so that's how uh, chiropractic can, can help someone with erectile dysfunction. I'm Dr. Leninger and have a nice day and I'll see you on the next video.